Welcome to a video on how to get good at the barbecue. No, not that one. The barbecue corn. Jesus Christ, we made this joke over two years ago already. Fuck it. Let's get started. The barbecue corn is a variant of the corn class, who used to be the absolute king of corns way back in 2016, before PopCap continuously kept shafting him with each subsequent patch. The barbecue corn's obsession with barbecue sauce is what eventually led him to completely drenching both himself and his primary weapon in the stuff, like it's some sort of cocaine addiction. The weapon fires at 675 rounds per minute and has 30 ammo per clip before needing to take a lengthy 2.5 second reload. Each shot fired can deal 4.5 damage for a normal hit and 5.4 damage for a critical hit. The weapon's damage output does drop off a little bit at mid-range with it going down to 3.5 damage for a normal hit and 4.2 for a critical hit. Each time the player hits an enemy, they will be set on fire for the next 3.75 seconds, taking 4 damage every 0.75 seconds. Additional hits will refresh the duration, but sources of healing will instantly remove the effect. Additionally, one will notice that barbecue corn's weapon is very accurate, only having a mild amount of recoil, but no form of weapon spread or sway. This tray actually allows this barbecue smothered piece of shit, encased within $9 quality tin foil smeared in glue, to aggressively snipe at enemies, since the high rate of fire and near 100% precision makes it very effective to duel long range opponents like pirates, and even if your accuracy is on the same level as jetpack joyride play. As long as you are able to land at least one bullet, the fire damage will be able to carry your crippled ass to victory. Another perk that barbecue corn has, mainly thanks to his high rate of fire, is his ability to spread his fire damage out to multiple enemies within rapid succession. Whilst this may not be useful in most situations, if you feel like spreading chaos like an absolute maniac, then feel free to swing your crosshair wildly across the general direction of the enemy team. However, whilst one-on-one -on -one combat will remain relatively unchanged for the most part, you should avoid direct encounters with high health opponents such as all stars, SBs, and especially ZMEX, since your damage per clip is extremely low, at only 140, and that's not including outside sources such as healing, or armor. This will cause you to take an extremely long time to kill them, which will likely result in them killing you and writing your death certificate long before you can kill them. The optimum upgrade setup for the barbecue corn would be the ammo, reload, and fire upgrades. With the ammo and reload upgrades being especially important, as due to barbecue corn's extremely low damage per clip of 140, increasing it to 160, plus gaining back your ammo capacity faster, will allow you to take on more risky encounters with absolute certainty. And the fire upgrade, simply because of how low his damage output is, he needs every bit of assistance he can. In terms of strengths, barbecue corn's accurate primary and high rate of fire allow him to not only be a useful long range counter to pirates but also in landing consistent hits at ranges most other variants would struggle with. Additionally, like most fire variants, the fire damage indicators will allow you to see roughly where the enemy is going and track them down accordingly. However, barbecue corn's damage output is relatively low, even with the fire damage over time, so in general, enemies will take longer to kill. His low damage per clip of 140, when paired with a lengthy 2.5 second reload, means that high health classes such as all stars, and especially ZMEX, will be deadly to you, since outside of ability usage, they can kill you a lot faster than you can kill them. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of annoying the shit out of people, as well as knowing the true power of why everyone despises barbecue corn mains. Be sure to come back for the next episodes next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.